we're gonna eat some pecking duck and some Iberico pork that I had to call three months ahead in advance just to reserve. Good morning, you guys. Today's adventure is the city of Hong Kong and Kowloon. For the first stop, we're gonna head to the Peak Tram, which takes us up to Victoria Peak. I think it's one of Hong Kong's highest points. If not, it is Hong Kong's highest point. But we're on our way to the tram right now. We were going to walk here, we were going to walk here but in lieu of timing, we took a taxi instead. So we're going to, oh, it's not even that busy. So we're headed up here right now. building. I think it's called the Sky Terrace if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yep, I was right. It's the highest 360 viewing terrace in Hong Kong. Of course, it puts us at a gift shop first. We have lots of souvenirs though. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, might as well do it here since we're already here. Oh, you guys look at that blue dragon. I think I want that. I think I want that. So, we're gonna go to the Sky Terrace first. We just up the escalator that way. Now we have to go all the way up again. Oh, they have a Madame Tussauds here. Interesting. Check that out, you guys. It's crazy. Sky Terrace. One more. We gotta go all the way up. At least there's food and stuff. Actually, our lunch is at noon. We could grab a quick snack here and then we have to make our way down because we're gonna eat some pecking duck and some Iberico pork that I had to call three months ahead in advance just to reserve. Wait, what? Oh, it's this way. Wait. Oh, 10. Oh, okay, thank you. So we're six minutes early, so they open at 10 a.m. So we gotta wait. So they don't open till 10 a.m. We have five more minutes, so we're just gonna walk around right now and see what's around here. Oh, look, they have a Marvel Adventure Lab. It's just like a Marvel photo booth, basically. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, they have mango pear juice, kiwi pear juice, or orange juice. Huh. Kiwi pear sounds interesting, so let's try this out. Actually, we might spend our whole time here. I thought we were just gonna come up here and take some pictures, but there's a lot to do up here. And there's like multiple floors too, so we're gonna walk around. First, we're gonna hit up the terrace so we can take our pictures, then we'll walk around and see what's here. And then we'll probably head back down because our reservation's at 12.15. Check this out, you guys. That's crazy. So where that Ferris wheel is at, I'm not sure if the camera can read it. Our hotel is right next to it just to give you guys some point of view. And then we're gonna head over there later on, but where we're going is at the higher point, so I guess it's the highest point in Hong Kong. All right, so for breakfast, we got a Vietnamese bun meat because it looks really good at the cafe. And then I got an iced coffee, and I got this kiwi pear juice, which is really good and really fresh. Yeah, there's no added sugars, no added artificial colors. It's just all fruit. Really good. And the straw is my favorite. Oh, it's a bamboo straw. Oh, it does have pate. Pate, cucumbers, and then what's pork for him? Uh, pork. Pork. Okay. Oh, we're going. I'm making a mess. Oh, wow. That is really good. I want to go to the 
That's really good. Mm. Compared to other bun mis I've had, even from Vietnamese places, that's actually really good. So I am slightly allergic to carrots. Mm. So I'm just taking off some excess yeah. so I don't. So for you, those of you who don't know, Nicolette is allergic to carrots, mangoes, and great things in life. And what? Just kidding. Excuse <laughs> you? But yeah, I'm Filipino and mangoes are like life to us, so I don't know how that happened. Mm. And they have pate on it. Most places don't put pate on it. Even though you're supposed to, but this is a really good breakfast sandwich. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay you guys, we're gonna head to the Skyview Terrace right now. There is a train full of people, so we're gonna make our way over there before it becomes crowded. So that's where we're headed. We're going up the Skyview Terrace 428, which is Hong Kong's highest 360 peak point. And you guys, me and Nicolette are scared of heights, so this is like, I don't even wanna look down. Nope. I'm gonna put the camera over there though, just so you guys can see. Because I already feel like we're hella high and we just need to keep going up, I guess. <laughs> I'm really scared, I don't know why. <laughs> there we go, you guys. Sky Terrace. Is this the last one or is there another one? Okay, what? Yeah. Uh oh. Last two. Okay. I'll do. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, this is the last one. I, nope, yep, this is the last one because I can see the sky. <laughs> Right, you guys. Let's check this view out. Okay, you ready? Let's see. Whoa! You guys, check this out. That is crazy. Wow. Yeah, I bet at night this is all nice too. It's crazy. Everyone's getting their pictures. Oh my god, this is crazy, you guys. I'm gonna shut you guys down for a little bit. Actually, before that, so this whole railway right here, that's where the tram went. Like I said, that Ferris wheel is where our hotel was. We started around that area and made our way all the way up here through the tram. You could also hike up here because there's a stair path, but yeah, I'm not doing that. And then we have that little house temple thing over there that we'll check out later on. So we're gonna take our pictures and we'll see you guys after. All right, you guys, we're back. I'll post the pictures that we took somewhere in the video. But yeah, this is the highest 360 point in Hong Kong. <laughs> this is crazy. I bet it's super windy at night. So I guess this isn't the highest point in Hong Kong because there's mountains over there, but maybe this is the highest like viewing platform in Hong Kong. Yeah, because that looks it's still like crazy. it's... crazy, yeah. You guys look over there too, there's still buildings on top that are higher than this, but maybe they're not open to the public like that, like this place is. <laughs> it's getting kind of foggy up here. Okay, let's walk around and let's see what else is around here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys, this is like a different aspect here. I wonder why the other side is closed, but got a mountain over there. I'm not sure what city that is. Oh, there's a nice little restaurant over there. All right, you guys, we're done with the Sky Terrace. We're going to walk around for a little bit. The restaurant just called to confirm that we're coming because they're getting the duck ready and the pork ready. So I can't wait to try that out and tell you guys how it tastes. So it looked like there were a couple things outside, so we'll check out outside. Oh, look how long the line is now. Thank God we missed all of that. Whew, I do not like lines. I am super impatient. I am still trying to learn my patience. Yeah, because we still have to walk over to the restaurant. So I want to be able to show you guys most of the things here, but I don't think we're going to be able to hit it all. But at least you guys will get a gist of it. And also, if you end up new coming in here, you guys can check it out for yourself. Oh my God, this is the one that I hate. Uh. Uh, look. Uh. Just go look straight. Go look straight. Don't look down. Never look down. Don't look down. Always look up. There we go. Don't look down. Always look up. 
honestly, there's so much stuff to do here, but we have so little time. Because honestly, you guys, our goal for this trip is to literally check off all the Disney parks around the world. We've done Hong Kong, Shanghai is our last one, and then we're done. And then we got nothing else to do with our life. Kidding. No, we still have a whole world to travel. Next on our list is to check out the seven wonders of the world. But that's gonna do some planning, take some time, but that's literally what's next on the bucket list. First one though is Machu Picchu, because a lot of people are telling me that it's actually sinking. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but if that's the case, I do want to check that out before, you know, and ends up being closed to the public for some reason. Did we check out? Let's just walk around this real quick, because we went to the cafe, but rushed when we saw all those people coming up the train. <laughs> okay, so they got stores, another cafe. Oh, they had milk tea here. Oh, and they have like... You guys check this out. All this stuff here is so themed. It's so cool. So this is the outside area that I was telling you guys about. So we'll check this out real quick before we head back down. Oh my god, I almost tripped. <laughs> that would have been funny to catch that on camera. But it wouldn't have been funny because this camera is super expensive, so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am losing my balance here. Oh, it's a bunny. Hi, bunny. It's pointing. I'm gonna point at you too. I am assuming this is one of the original trams. Yeah. So this is what the tram looks like. It looks much wider than the one that we took. So it looks like, yep, it started in 1888. And it's still going on till this day, which is pretty cool. It saves you the hike all the way up here or the taxi ride. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Look, it looks somewhat similar. We got some more boba shops. What's at this cute galleria? I think this is all restaurants. Yeah, it looks like it's all restaurants, drinks, steakhouses. Oh, there's a McDonald's here. <laughs> and for those laughing, McDonald's in different countries is actually pretty cool because it's not the same menu as it is in the States. It's like, different. it's based on, you know, where it's at. So it's nice to try different things from McDonald's just to see what other flavors of the world taste like. I'm surprised they don't have a hotel here. Then again, that'd be hard to get around Hong Kong from all the way up here all the time. Yeah. Let's make our way to the corner over here to see that house real quick, and then we'll head back down because I don't know how far the walk is to the restaurant, but I do know that it's around the mall, so if we do get there early, we could just walk around the mall until it's time to check in. Check this house out. Alright guys, let's head down and let's check out what's down here. So yeah, you guys, we were all the way up there. Now we're right here. So that was Victoria Peak and the Sky Terrace 428. Now we're gonna head back down to Hong Kong so we can go ahead and go to our restaurant reservation. So that's where we had coffee at Pacific Coffee, which is really good. So if you do come here, I recommend the bun mi. <laughs> Honestly, all their breakfast sandwiches look good, but I just saw bun mi and I love bun mi, so I'm like, ooh, let's try the bun mi. Yeah. But it was honestly one of the better tasting bun mi's I've had. The other one looks like it had, oh, this, I think this whole floor is a gift shop, eh? That's part of it? Yeah. So let's go over here. Hold on, let's do some price comparisons first though. So magnets here are 10, 25, 10 to 25. This one's 15, 10. Maybe it's one hole, maybe it's the same person? Oh, this is super heavy, you guys. Ugh. I don't know, I don't have that much space in my thing, but I really like that. Let's check out the magnets. I need a Hong Kong magnet, so let's see. So, we did the peak. We should do a peak tram one. How much is the dragon? This one. The blue one. Blue one's 399. 
Three nine nine. Yeah, have a. Do you have a small blue? Uh, small. Oh yeah. Uh, one nine nine. New Year, twenty twenty four. New Year's dragon. Oh okay. Yeah, many people buy. It. Okay, I'll get one. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> Okay. okay, and then I'm gonna get some magnets okay, too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So we'll get one of these. Oh. The picture have another model. Uh, this model, and I have okay. a lower one. Let's do one of these. Mm. Dinsan, uh, new model. Oh! Yeah, new, just the uh, last week. Uh, I, I eat dim sum, so we'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that will also dim sum. Okay. Yeah. You said buy three, get one free? Buy four, free one. Oh, buy four. Okay, also have. Or three for seventy, right? Yes, three for seventy. But Let's keep three. Too many. <laughs> I have no one else to give. Okay. Yeah. I still look around. Okay. Yeah. Jade Buddha. Nope, I don't need it. You don't need it, Ricky. Oh, but these are so cool. I'm assuming we're gonna do a lot more shopping, so I don't want to go crazy here. So I think I'm just gonna get what I have now. So I'm gonna put you guys away real quick so I could pay, and then we'll come back. All right guys, we got our shopping done. Now we're gonna head back to the tram to head back down. So let's go back out to where we saw the entrance, and then go through there. Yeah, we came at a great time because now this place is getting packed. At least we could head out of here. So let's go to the front again, so we could scare the shit out of ourselves going down. Tram's coming. Oh my God, you guys, look how full cool this tram is compared to what it was like when we came. Jesus Christ. So I'm happy we woke up early and came earlier because <laughs> that would have been crazy coming here. On the upside, I'm excited for lunch now because uh, bun me made me good for now, but now that we're going down, my appetite's building up again. It's raining. It wasn't supposed to rain today. Thank God this camera's waterproof. Now we need to make our way to Mach 32, which is the restaurant that has the pecking duck that we reserved. So let's open up our trusty map. I think we're going the right way. Hopefully we're going the right way, but we'll see. We get lost, we get lost. But hopefully we don't get lost because we do have a reservation to get to. I think we can cross the street right here. Okay, cool, yeah. So this is the entrance that we came from. Now we're gonna head out. Looks like we're gonna cross the street. are so tall like I'm used to San Francisco tall buildings but these buildings are like next level See you guys, you don't get this with public transportation. I mean, <laughs> I want to talk because I'm super lazy, but I don't mind walking too, because you get to see things like this. And honestly, I'm a type that likes to plan, but some of the best memories I have in my life are the ones that just spontaneously happen. With an hour to spare, okay. So yeah, we'll get to the restaurant just to see where it's at, and then we'll walk around from there and explore and see what's around. Pretty cool. Oh look, they're like, they're on pumps. So they're going up and down. That's pretty That's cool. cool. Oh, they're like the gnomes. Oh yeah, they are. They have little boots. <laughs> That's so cute. cute. Okay, cool. So it's over there. Let's just go up there so we can see what it's like. Because it looks like it connects to the mall through this pedestrian yeah. pathway. So at least we can walk around for a while. So Mot 32 is where we're going, you guys. It originated in 1891. Okay, so it's here. Okay. How do we get to the mall? Oh, there. Okay. This way? Battery path, that way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At 12.15, 
we gotta head to the restaurant, but since it's not opened yet, we're gonna check out the mall. Oh, Alexandra House was the other place we were supposed to eat, but Mot 32 apparently was better, so let's check out what's down here. So you got your Hermes, your upper scale stores here. This bakery looks super fancy. It's pretty. Oh, look at this cake, you guys. Oh, it's a caviar cake, you guys. Check that out with gold flakes. Twenty-three. That's pretty cool. It's three thousand forty-five dollars. You guys, that cake is three thousand dollars, <laughs> U.S. dollars. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. My God. Well, I mean, this is a high-end luxury mall. You have Chanel over here. Oh look, there's another caviar. Wow, I guess caviar cakes are are like popular here because we have another caviar store right here. Remember how we used to have punch buggy when we were kids? Now we have red Teslas. Since red Teslas are the most expensive Teslas because you gotta pay extra for the color and it's limited sightings, that's our new punch buggies. So whenever we see a red Tesla, it's a red Tesla hit. <laughs> this is Sir Thomas Jackson Bart. He was a banker. Oh, manager, a chief manager. Wow. You guys, I'm just gonna stand here real quick and move the camera around so you guys could see the view here. It's crazy. It is 12.04. Our reservation for the restaurant is 12.15. So we're headed there right now so we can go ahead and eat. It is not 32. Hi. Mop 32? Yeah. Yeah, reservation? Yeah. Down? Okay, cool. Thank you. Wow, this is a nice place. Hello. Cool. Thank you. You guys, check this out. This is really nice. All right, you guys, so we made it. This place is crazy. Check it out. But yeah, so this is like the aesthetics of the restaurant. This is really nice. And we got our reservation early, so that it's not that busy here. So we have a sparkling water and also just water. Which one? Like? Still water, please. Just water. Okay. Just water. I'm a steel water to be all right for you. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So the duck is going to take an hour to cook, which that's fine with us. But we also ordered the pork. We're just going to browse the menu, but I think that's a lot for both of us right now. So we're just going to stick with it. But they have lots of things here too. Yeah, I think this is one of seven. This is the original location, but I think they have seven or eight more locations around. Nine. So if you guys actually want to try this out in the States, Las Vegas has a Mot 32 as well. So just so you guys know, this is what we're getting. Mot 32 Applewood Roasted 42 Days Pecking Duck. Smoked with sweet aromas of dried applewood, served with freshly steamed pancakes, thinly sliced cucumber and scallions, raw cane sugar, and house-made special placing sauce. And like I said, they only have a limited number per day. I literally had to call them three minutes in advance just to reserve this. We just got the jasmine cooler. A mocktail because I don't like drinking. But look how pretty this looks. And we got the monster meal. The monster meal, which has... It has vodka in it. This is the hairy crab soup dumpling. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the Iberico pork. Thank you. Wow. It's really good. 
still worth the wait. That's the most tender piece of meat. It literally just that melts. I've had. Other than Japanese Wagyu, that's really good. Like melt in your mouth, you guys, literally. Mm -hmm. I would come here again just for that. This is the thin pancake. With the thin pancake, you get some of the sauce. You get a piece. First off, hold on. You guys, look how beautiful this is. I'm gonna post a like a better video than my 360 camera, but this is crazy. First taste of this stuff. And you make like a little Alright guys, first bite. Mm. Holy crap, this is amazing. I've never had duck like this before. And these, this crispy skin piece, like I can't, there's nothing I could compare it with. And this is the first place I've ever had duck and duck where you dip it in raw cane sugar. I've, at first I found it weird, but it actually complements the skin of the duck. It like, gives it like a nice caramelization flavor. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. No words. Literally no words. Other than 11 out of 10. Last time I was here, I went to this place called Pecking Garden, which their duck was really good too. But if I had to choose between one of them, it would be this place. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. Heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. I am satisfied. I am happy. And this is definitely going to be somewhere that I'm going to visit again. Wrap everything up, and once we head out, we'll see you guys again. Thank you. That was top 10 best meals I've ever had in my life. Yeah, there's a couple others too, but Mont 32, definitely worth checking out. Kind of pricey, but definitely worth the price in my opinion. I don't mind paying for quality, and that quality was there, and it was top notch. Now we're gonna head over to the Hong Kong Ferris wheel. And then we're gonna walk by the water over there so you guys can check that out with us. And then I think we're gonna walk back to our hotel, chill for a little bit until we have to head over to Kowloon Island. And then from Kowloon, we're gonna check around and see what's over there in that area. And then we'll have the Wagyu, Japanese Wagyu buffet for dinner. And then that's gonna be our night. Oh, also, there's a little light show that's over on that side too, so I can't wait to check that out. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> oh, these ones have little saddles. That's adorable. So what is the plan? We're going to walk along here back to the hotel, chill a little bit, and then head out. Like I was telling you guys earlier, there's a special light show that goes on every single night at 8 p.m. So all these buildings that you guys see here, well, not all of them, most of them, synchronized to lights, and they're all synchronized together. And apparently it's a really cool light show. But the best vantage point is in Kowloon, which is where we're gonna go. Pink guava. Pink guava lemon. Oh no, I'm afraid. Oh, is this the. Oh, they have a kiwi juice too. That's a kiwi juice. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's kiwi juice pineapple. Interesting. Yeah. Actually, look at this Pringles flavor. It's like chicken. Yeah. We'll try this. Oh, whoa, look at these meals. Gucci, sparkling. What's Luigi like? Luigi, yes. Mm. Oh, they have the sweat. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Mine. Blown. Yeah. They have Maltesers here. They have Maltesers. Don't forget about me. Well. I didn't realize that we didn't show you guys the hotel yet, so we're gonna show you the lobby and what the room looks like. This is the Harbor View, and it's in Hong Kong on the Hong Kong side because there's different parts of Hong Kong. So this is by the Harbor, so that's why it's called the Harbor View. Thank you. Agra and oysters. Mm. So much food already. We've had so much food on this trip, and we haven't been here for a full week yet. We are on. The ninth floor. Let me get the key. Look at the vending machine. It's got like toiletries in it too. And cookies. There's and chocolate. a bath towel. Oh, the bath towel. Because <laughs> they don't give those to you here. Just kidding. We have bath towels. Yes, yes, we do. So we actually got upgraded to the corner premium room, which was really nice of them. So I'm not sure what our original room was supposed to look like, but this one's pretty nice. Yeah. So I know. Talking about upgrades, if you're really nice to them when you check in, just ask them how their day is. Most of the time, they're gonna give you an upgrade on the room. It's happened to us multiple times, and it goes a long way to be nice to people, or to even just ask, hey, how's your day going? So food for thought. So this is our room. This is our room. This is the bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if you guys saw, but most hotels that I've been to, when you come in, this is your power. So you gotta stick it inside there and it activates power for the whole room. Yeah. But now let's show them the view. The view, oh my God. Look at this. So there's the Ferris wheel we were at a little while ago. And it's just crazy. And Kowloon is the island that's right across from us that we're going to take a ferry on to. Okay, you guys, we're going to rest up. We're going to freshen up, recharge the battery so it's ready to go for tonight. And we'll see you later. Bye!